Now to a Plano family's nightmare, and it's teaching us much more about the deadly toll fentanyl is taking on our kids. A high school cheerleader died after taking what she thought was a pain pill. Our J.D. Miles is speaking with her parents tonight. They believe more awareness could have saved her life. Knocked on the door. She didn't answer. I opened up the door, and um, that's when I saw Sienna and her friend laying on the bed, and... Um, her friend was making some gurgling noises. Stephanie Vaughn talks about finding her 16-year-old daughter Sienna unconscious in her bedroom last month. Sienna was super pale and her lips were turning like purplish. And wondering how a fun family weekend could instantly become the worst day of her life. I was praying. I was just praying. I'm like, this can't be happening. Like, this is a good kid. Like, we don't deserve this. Like, this is what is going on? Sienna was later pronounced dead at a hospital. Her teenage friends survived after the Plano Senior High School students ingested a pill they thought was the drug Percocet. And they asked us if we wanted to go see her, and of course we did. And she was still hooked up, some of the tubes, and she looked, she looked like she was sleeping. She was so beautiful, and I was like, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. When Plano police arrived at the hospital, the Vaughns say it didn't take them long at all to suspect the cause of Sienna's death. They said, I wonder if this, we've been seeing a lot of Percocet laced fentanyl overdoses come in. That upset Sienna's parents, who say if authorities and hospitals were aware of a string of fentanyl poisonings from Percocet pills being passed around in Plano, the public should have been immediately notified. We're angry that she had to be the one to pay the price. Mm -hmm. And we're angry that we as parents didn't know that these fentanyl laced Percocets were going around the school. If there is like fentanyl laced pills going around under the name of Percocet and they're seeing accidental overdoses coming in, they need to be telling, they need to be telling us ASAP. That frustration only makes the lingering grief worse over the loss of a beloved cheerleader, Girl Scout, and music lover who has become the latest child to be taken away by a deadly poison. J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.